Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. I've been asked to kind of explain a little bit more on how to link GMRS two-way radio repeaters together. And you're probably thinking, well, why would I want to do that? Well, let me give you a few reasons. Let's say, for an example, the town that you live in, let's call one side of the town south side and let's call one other side of the town north side. And if one repeater cannot do coverage for both south side and north side, then you could install a repeater on the north side and then install another one on the south side. And then you would use the internet to connect the two repeaters together, even though they're miles apart. For that matter, these repeaters could be in different states. They could be in a different country. It can be anywhere because we're using the internet to connect these repeaters together. So whether it's 20 miles apart or across the world apart, it does not matter because as long as there's internet at the repeater sites. And if there's not internet at the repeater sites, I have a solution for that and I'll explain that a little bit later. So this is, so we're going to call this repeater site A. We're going to call this repeater site B. Okay. Now each site is going to need internet, obviously. You're going to need either a laptop, desktop, Raspberry Pi, mini PC, whatever computer system you want to use, you're going to need it at each site because each site is going to need to run Zello. And we're going to use Zello for this. Now, the reason why I like Zello because Zello also offers apps that you can download for either iPhone or Android that you can install Zello on your phone. So if, if you have people that don't want to carry a radio or they don't need to carry a radio, then they can use the Zello app, connect to your repeater channel that you're going to make, and they, and they can connect to that. And then when they talk on their phone, it will go over both repeaters. Same with if you have a computer, you know, and you want to use a computer at, you know, at home or whatever. Same thing. They talk on your repeater channel, it will go over both radios. And you can password your repeater channel so that no one can just join it. So that's the beauty of Zello also. You can password it. So, And I'm not going to go into detail how, to, to, how, how, how do you use Zello to do this. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can check other videos. I suppose if I get enough people want me to actually show you, but there's not really much to show besides me setting up Zello, signing in with different users and, and, and that. So, but, but I can if there's enough people who want me to do a video on that. So, so now what we're going to do, so we go back to repeater site A. Now, I recommend that you use the word repeater. When you set up a Zello username, use the, use the word repeater so that you know when people come to your Zello channel, they're going to know that's not a real person. Okay? Same with when you set up your, your Zello channel name, use the word repeater. Whether, in, in this example, I'm going to use WI because I live in Wisconsin, but this way, people who are joining are going to know it's a repeater channel. Um, just so that, you know, people know. It, it's good to know. Um, like I said, you can use either a Raspberry Pi, mini PC. Now, the thing is, also, too, uh, when you do this, try to keep the location. Like, let's, like I said earlier, when I did, when I give the example, south side and north side of town. So, to try to help you, so you know what repeater is what, for Zello username, do south side repeater A or or north side repeater B. You, you kind of get where I'm going. So you, so you can kind of know what is going on um, that way. So once you do that, now if I remember correctly, Zello, one email address to let you have five different usernames, if I remember correctly. So that works out really good. Now you can have as many repeaters Hook to your channel as many as you want. You don't just have to have just two only. You can have a whole bunch. They can connect from all over the world if you choose that. As long as they know which repeater channel name 
And the password, if you set it for a password, anyone can, can join it. They could be in, in California. They can, they can join with their smartphone and talk, or they can join with their repeater set up. It doesn't matter because they know what channel, Zello channel name that you're using. And like I said, you can password it too. So that's that's how you would do that. So then again, on this one, you would since you already set up the channel name, you don't have to reset it up. But you got to have this computer join that channel name. So when it's all said and done, you're going to have a Zello channel. In this example, WR Repeaters. I'm going to see in that channel a username called Repeater B, another username called Repeater A. So when they key up this radio, it's going to go over this radio, and it's going to go over all the phones, and it's going to go over all the computers. If I key up this radio, again, same thing. It's going to go over this radio, it's going to go over all the phones, and it's going to go over all the computers. If they key up a phone, it's going to go over the computer, both repeaters. Uh, same with the computer. They key up a, a computer, it's going to go over the phones, and both repeaters. That's how you link it. Is with Zello. Very not difficult to do. The you know the, the probably the one of the harder parts is probably the hardware. Now I'm going to show you some ideas here on how what how, give you some uh, hardware ideas. So I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to go out to the GMR shack, and I'll be right back. Okay, so one of the ways you can do this is with the Redivis RT97S repeater using the interface board and I have this hooked up to a laptop now you don't need a second monitor the only reason why I have a second monitor because my laptop screen went bad but normally that won't be here so you can just use a laptop that has internet access on it and Zello so this would be repeater A okay so now you, I know what people think it's like well that's that's that repeater only does six watts you know that's not a really good repeater Actually, it works fairly decent. Now, remember, it depends on your location. It depends on how high your antenna is. But the beauty of this repeater, it does not take much power. So you can hook it up to a solar panel with a with a 12 volt battery and run this repeater with your computer, with your uh, um, Wi-Fi hotspot, and run that. So. That you know that's that doesn't take a lot of power compared to a 50 watt repeater, so that's that's good news. You don't need a whole bunch of batteries and and you know all that stuff. So that's that's the beauty. And this thing works fairly good, believe it or not, it does. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, it's a laptop, and that's that's a lot of hardware, and that's a lot of stuff. Well, like I said, you can get a mini PC to do all this, and this would be you would just have this a mini PC, your Wi-Fi, your cellular Wi-Fi spot. And this, you know, this does have um, built-in Wi-Fi a card in it, so you can just have just this another box here, and that interface board, and that's it. Um, that's what's nice about a mini PC or a Raspberry Pi, for that matter. You can do that too. Um, so you don't need to use a big laptop if space is an issue, and then you can remote access in here to do your settings if you choose to. So this is repeater site A. Like I said, you're going to need a, some type of a computer or Raspberry Pi running Zello. Now I do, or I, I did, uh, or I should say, I do have videos on the Zello or on the um, Raspberry Pi running Zello. It runs fairly decent. Uh, there's, a, you know, there's a few drawbacks. Watch those videos if you're thinking about using Raspberry Pi. Uh, mini PC is just what it is. It's a mini PC. There's no, there's no drawbacks on that. So this is repeater site A. So now if you repeater site B is going to need the same type of setup and what I mean by that is again you're going to need another laptop or a mini PC or a Raspberry Pi running Zello so this is the mobile radio that a person well in this case I'm running a, a mobile radio I'm doing some experiments but this is where I said in the beginning of the video how if you have a repeater site that does not have internet or the internet's not real good, or the access to that repeater is very difficult, you could take a mobile or a handheld and hook it to your computer and get that repeater online by programming, in this case, the mobile 
radio to that repeater frequency or handheld if you have to use a handheld um, that's how you can remotely get a repeater online for that matter in this particular case since this is a 45 watt radio if I had an external antenna outside I could be possibly 15 miles away from that repeater and get that repeater online maybe even further depending on my environment that this radio is set up at um, obviously the higher outside antenna the better it's going to be but that's how you get any repeater online doesn't matter it could be an old one long as you can get a site within the repeater um, distance and get that online and just program that radio to that frequency that's how you do that so that solves that but this is what you're going to need is you're going to need hardware to hook it up uh, whether it's a mobile radio whether it's a um, a handheld whatever the case may be or an actual repeater but that's one of the ways to get to link GMRS to a repeaters like I said it's pretty simple when you set up your Zello create your your Zello channel and then give each repeater a separate name you cannot log in you, you cannot do repeater and try to have two computers log in they, they, you can't share the same name username on one computer so that's why I recommend like I said repeater a repeater B so you can log in at the same time on different devices but it's real simple to make a channel in here but at any rate if you have any questions or comments please post them down below please subscribe thank you and have a good day